So here's the little handsome boy, Toby. My Persian chinchilla pussycat. And he's one of our regular boys. Comes to us very regularly for his full clip. Mum likes to keep him short because he's got one of those very cotton wool type coats, very dry, which mats very quickly. <laughs> so we keep him short all year round. Um, and he has lots of beds to go to, lots of heaters and lovely central heating on and beds to go to. So he doesn't, um, you know, doesn't affect him having the coat off all through the year. So you can see he's got some little ones here. I'm just teasing those out there. So he's, he is under the vet at the moment for his eye. He's had, he's had a trauma to the eye, which is such a shame, this, this eye here. So, um, and he's got like a, a funny eye here as well. So he's he's in the wars, aren't you, Tobers? Hey. So I'm going to crack on and get this clip started because he's such a good boy for me. I've already done his claws. There's some remnants. <laughs> they were quite long. And uh, I'm just going to get this clip done for him now. He knows what it's all about. I don't know how many times he's had this clip now. But yeah, he's a good little boy. Aren't you, baby? So yeah, so it's funny. Some of the Persian chinchillas, the coats are lovely. And um, unfortunately for little Toby, he's got the, the coat that's the dry and cotton wool type coat. And he's not the best at being groomed, so mum does struggle with him. Hence why he has these clips. But it's so nice to have a cat that just sits lovely and still for you. Good boy. There's a good lad. Can you do a little roly poly. Do this to me. Can you do a little roly poly over, Bubbers. Come on then. He's only teeny. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So a lot of you ask as well, how do you comb the tummy on the cat? And it's you can do what I've just done there with Toby. Just, you know, guide him over onto his side so that you can get to the tummy area. Or you can stand them up on the hind legs and hug them and then get to them that way. Each cat's different, and some cats are quite happy to lie like this. Ooh. Lie like this for you, and others like to be up on the hind feet. They prefer it, so you just have to go with how your cat is behaving. Okay, baby. All right, puppers. Good boy. Good boy. So I've got the bulk of. Uh, Toby's coat away here. I'm just concentrating around the mane now and the around the face. I'll just get some of these wispy bits away. Just to tidy his cheeks up. So it's just thumb and thaw finger. Just having a little 
tease away these wispy bits right in the end. I just want to check if this collar is straight. It's not bad at all, that. Is it, mister? Let's have a look on this side. Okay. He's so tiny, he really, really is. Aren't you, Toby? So I'm just protecting the ear there with my fingers and doing the groom down. There's stuff we can't get away with the comb, like we've just done on the other side. Just the thumb and forefinger. Just to tidy him up a bit. Good boy. Now the difficult part of Toby is when you try and do his bib, he just wants to collapse. And when you try and sit him up, so you can see his bib to see if it's nice and straight and well rounded underneath his chin. He doesn't want to sit, he wants to just lie. <laughs> so we've got a nice little shot there. And how is that bib looking, mister, from here? It looks okay, but it might not be from the front. Hmm? We need to do a little trim there, don't we? Hey, you pussy cats don't make it easy, do you? Can't quite see that properly. That's his booties. Let's have a look at your face. Good boy. These mucky bits here. Good boy. So very careful if you're going on the comb. He's enjoying that. Isn't he? Is that nice? That's a nice bit. Thank you. Good boy. Yeah, very good boy. What about this side? I'll do this side as well. This chin. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Toby's. Good lad. So he's more or less done. I'm just going to do a final check over of it. tail out what's left of your tail your little pom-pom let's get all these bits away can't give you back to mummy looking scruffy can i some loose bits on him. Just tidy these tootsies. Oh I know nobody likes their tootsies doing. A lot of cats object to the back feet. Good boy. <laughs> oh dear. Nearly. Oh, you were quick there. <laughs> right, let's do this one, Boo. Don't want these bits in you. Can I have this leggy? 
Mm hmm Good boy. Good boy. A couple of little knots there in between his tootsies. There we go. So again, they're just pulling away with the fingers. Good boy. Good boy. There he is. There you go, baby. I'm going to do his eyes. Oh dear. Toby, won't we? Can we wait a minute, can we? We're nearly done. We are very nearly done. You what? Let me just do these front leggies. Mm -hmm. He likes it. He does. So it's just cotton wool pad, some lukewarm water. Never mix the cotton pad into the other eye, I use a separate one. That's the other one that I was using on the other eye. Good boy. There you go. There you go. Does that feel better? Really? There you go. Good boy. Alright, Tobis. You can get off the table now. <laughs> yes, you can. No, but I don't want you jumping. I don't want you jumping off. No, we'll put you in the basket. Yeah. Come on. He's your tiny, tiny little boy. Oh, you're a tiny boy. I know. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no, he doesn't go that way. I don't know which way to go. Okay. Good boy. Good luck. Oh, you're a good boy, Toby.